Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie and I make fashion and skincare content. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I got during the Cezanne archives. For those of you who may not be as familiar with Cezanne, the company does an archive sale twice a year for summer and winter items. They are marked down in price and you can get really great deals for previous season's goods, but they do go fast. For those of you who may like Cezanne style, but are looking for something a bit more affordable, I'll be doing a haul from a store called Simple Retro soon that has really similar options but at a fraction of the price. Let's get started! This 100% silk dress is called the Solier dress, and it's this printed short sleeve long dress cut at the waist with a v-neck at the front. Everything but the sleeves are lined, so you won't have to worry about this garment being see-through. The sleeves have a subtle gathering at the top and then taper a bit at the bottom for a more fitted effect, and they're enclosed by one covered button. They're also sheer, which I think adds a bit more of elegance to this dress. There's a button placket that has covered buttons all the way down the dress and can be unbuttoned if you prefer. There's a seam along the waist with slight ruching to give additional texture and detail. The dress has a subtle white small polka dot pattern and I really like how mild it is but still present enough to give some depth to this piece. The top layer of the dress is sheer and has a slight crinkled texture to it. The dress does wrinkle a little bit as I seamed it prior to filming, you can already see it has some creases in the front. I really enjoy how this dress flows as I move and I also like that the buttons are adjustable as being petite, longer dresses can often shorten my height. By unbuttoning a couple buttons, it helps to elongate the appearance of my figure and of course, heels help too. There is a small mark on the inside back of the dress, but I sometimes will find these during the archive sale, probably because so many people buy it and return it, or perhaps that's why it's in the sale. I do feel that this dress is a little low for my preference, so I'm on the fence if I'll keep it or return it, but it's a really beautiful dress and I think it would be great for walking around more casually through the city or dressed up with heels for a wedding or a date night. The ASEAN dress is also a 100% silk beauty in a shorter, fully lined dress. It's in the print flowers on pink ecru pattern, and it's a wrap style dress that has an amazing lightweight feel and flow. There are ruffles around the neckline that frame the decollete, and the ruffles drape the back of the neck as well. The back has the same print, and the sleeves are a three-quarter length, which I feel aids for a more relaxed look to the dress. The waist is cinched to help give shape to the body, and there's a tie belt around the waist as this is a wrap style dress. There's also flexibility of where you tie the bow since the tie belt has plenty of room to wrap either on the left side or right side of the body. What caught my eye the most about this dress is the beautiful flower print. Cezanne does prints so well and this piece has pink, yellow, and blue dainty flowers all throughout the dress. The bottom of the dress is also lined with ruffles, which gives off a girly and overall playful vibe. This dress fits true to size, and I paired this with low Ella sandals, which were definitely not true to size. I got them in a size 36 or a US 6, and they were way too big for me. I could slip into them without even unbuckling them. So definitely size down if you decide to buy these. Overall, the ASEAN dress is really, really pretty, has that gorgeous flower print, and is fun and flirty. And so if you're looking for a shorter style dress that um, is more casual but also can be dressed up, this might be for you. Next is the Vic dress in the same print, flowers in a pink ecru print, and it's also made of 100% silk. I'm definitely repeating myself in this video. 
It's a long T-length dress with short sleeves and it has a tapered waist. The front has a V-neckline and it's lined so you don't have to worry about it being see-through. There's a bow tie on each lateral side of the sleeves and I simply double knotted it to create this effect. The pattern covers the entire dress including the backside and there's a seam across the front that blends in nicely with the rest of the dress. There are covered buttons down the front of this piece and I will say it can be a little tiring unbuttoning and buttoning up this dress. The pattern is the same as the last piece and I feel it almost gives off vintage or 70s vibes. I can't quite put my finger on it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Here you can see the separate layer underneath and even though it is double layered, you may want to wear more nude underwear underneath. I'm in between this dress and the ASEAN dress, so let me know what you all prefer. I can definitely see myself bringing this dress to Paris or in wearing it on a picnic along the Seine or strolling the streets of Montmartre. I may be leaning towards this one. Overall, it's a gorgeous dress and in a print that's unique. Even my husband commented on how pretty it was. I really like this dress and this pattern, so maybe I'll keep this one. This is the Vic dress in this bold blue dotty pattern. It's not made of silk, but instead of 100% viscose. And I will say I really like how vibrant this print is. The top has the same V neckline with little ties on the sleeves and the waist is fitted as well. When I put on this dress, I do feel really comfortable in it. It has a more casual feel to it compared to the other Vic dress pattern. On the website, the description states that the dress is lined. However, when I looked, it's definitely not lined. This dress does, however, have the same covered buttons down the front, and I was hoping that this version of the Vic dress would be slightly more discounted, taking into account that the materials are different, viscose versus silk, and that it's not lined, and they did not disappoint. It's 15 bucks cheaper. Overall though, I really like how bold this dress makes me feel, however, I do think it's a bit overpriced still, so I'll have to pass on this one. Next is this 100% cotton robe Juliet dress. It's the perfect summer dress that is reversible and has a more relaxed fit to it. The neckline has a delicate ruffle detail along the top and waist, and the waist hemline has two different heights. The straps are on the thinner side and can be tied to your preferred length, which I really like because non-adjustable straps are usually too long for me. The front has a row of eight covered buttons, and those can be worn on the front or the back, and the center hemline is slightly lower than the sides, but the sides have a ruffle detail that matches the neckline. The ruffle does extend to the back of the dress, and it is lined, so no worries about it being sheer. This would be a great summer dress to go on picnics, to the port to eat lobster, bringing it on a vacation or a holiday. The options are endless with sunscreen, of course. Overall, it has a really light and airy feel to it, especially for those hot, humid, muggy summer days. Since it does have a looser waistline, you could also add a belt just to help define the waist a little bit more. I added my Artemis belt in beige to create this effect and I really like that the straps are adjustable so that the remaining belt just hugs the rest of your body. There's no need to tie it at the end additionally to secure that piece. I will likely be returning this dress since personally, after trying this one, I, I do prefer dresses with a little less poof to the end of it, but nonetheless, it's a really pretty lightweight piece. Next is the Antonella dress in Ecru. It's a midi dress with 
oversized puff sleeves to the elbow and it's my favorite piece from this haul. It's made of 51% linen and 49% cotton and it has the softness of cotton but the sturdiness of the linen. There's a round neckline with gathering at the sleeves and the waistline has a band with the same detailing across it. I can't tell if it's the puff sleeves that are the star of the show or if everything put together makes this piece a wow for me. But these lovely puff sleeves are definitely a statement. It has the same leaf stitching with detailing all down the sleeves and to create that beautiful puff you can see that the sleeves are lined and sewn in with extra room. There's gorgeous lace detailing all down the front and back with the added pearl buttons sewn the back side, although if I had to have those unbuttoned each time I got in and out of the dress, I don't know if I'd keep it since it's not very practical. Cezanne thankfully has placed a hidden zipper down the side, making it really easy to put on and take off this dress. I wanted to take a minute to show you how beautiful this design is. It has the leaf pattern as I mentioned before with the little details around it, but there's also a lace detail that cascades down the fabric. It is see-through, so keep that in mind when considering this piece, but I just think it adds the most lovely touch to this dress. The skirt does widen a bit on the lower half, and to me this balances out how fitted the top half is with the big puff sleeves, especially the fitted waistline. The fabric when you hold the dress is a bit heavier, but to me that just adds to the proof of a well-made quality piece. As you move, the dress beautifully drapes around you, which is another testament to a beautifully crafted dress. I'm sure that you can tell by now, I'm really a fan of this piece, and I'll definitely be keeping this piece to wear for date nights and any special occasion except weddings, of course. And that's it! Thanks for watching everyone. Everything is linked in the description box below, and let me know which piece was your favorite. I'd love to know!